All right. So in this particular question, it says in contract negotiations between a local government agency and its workers, it's estimated that there's a 50% chance that an agreement will be reached on salaries of its workers. It's estimated that there's a 70% chance that there'll be an agreement on the insurance benefits. There is a 20% chance that no agreement will be reached on either issue. Part A, find the probability that an agreement will be reached on both issues and show your work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Venn diagram to summarize this information. All right. So I'm going to let this circle represent um, salaries. Okay, because here it says salaries. And I'm going to let this circle represent benefits. All right. So we have benefits. Now it says there is a 20% chance that no agreement will be reached on either issue. So I'm going to put 20% on the outside. What that means, all right, what that actually means now is that this area That means that this total area in the circles has to amount to 80%. Okay, so therefore the probability of S or B equals 80%. All right, now there is an equation. Okay, there is an equation here to find the probability of S or B, we would take the probability of S plus the probability of B, and then we would subtract off the probability of S and B. All right, so what I can do is I can plug in 80% for that. It tells me in the problem that there's a 50% chance that an agreement will be reached on salaries. So this part is 0 0.50. It tells me there's a 70% chance that there'll be an agreement on the insurance benefits. So I can write in 0.70 for that. All right. And then I can solve for the intersection. All right. So if I do the math there, um, 0.80 equals, if I add these two things up, that's 1.20 minus probability of S and B. If we move some things around, if we move that to the other side and subtract 0 0.80 from both sides, you get 0 0.40. All right. So that's the answer to part A. Find the probability that an agreement will be reached on both issues. So that's the probability that an agreement is reached on salaries and benefits. So this middle part right here, this part right here is 40%, all right? So if I want to erase some of this here, let me redraw it. So 40% would go in the middle. And you know that 50% alone is salaries. Well, we already have 40% in the middle part. So there's a remaining 10% because those two numbers have to add up to 50. All right. Or you can you express them as decimals or percent. So I'm just choosing to express it as decimals. So that's 0.20. All right. And then there's a 70% chance that there will be an agreement on insurance. Well, we already have 40% chance in the middle. So that would leave 30% left. So these two numbers still add up to 0.70. All right, now in part B, it says, based on your answer from part A, determine whether agreement on salaries and that agreement on insurance benefits are independent events, all right? So if two events are independent, all right, if two events are independent, I'll just use IND, then, the probability of the first event times the probability of the second event should equal the probability of S 
and B. All right, so here the probability of S is 50%. Okay, the probability of B is 70%. All right, if you multiply those together, 0.5 times 0.7, okay, you would get 0.35, okay? Half of 70% is 35%. But over here, we just found out the probability of S and B was 40%. All right, so those two do not equal each other. All right, so what does this mean? The events are not independent. which means that salaries and benefits coming to an agreement on those are not independent. They have some effect on each other. And that is the answer to this question.